Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Rule the Waves, episode number 38. I guess the last one was 36 and 37. I ended up splitting it into two videos because it got a little lengthy. I just want to apologize again for kind of that brutal tactical uh, misstep. It wasn't really a misstep, it was just a total blunder. So the situation now, well, we don't have very many ships left. Um, it turns out that losing three ships to their six or whatever is actually a pretty bad blow for me. I have six Dreadnoughts in action, but two of them are the Elsass class. Unfortunately, that means that I really only have four effective battleships Dreadnoughts. Now, that is somewhat compensated, so if we take ten to four and add this number in, it actually becomes twelve to nine. And that's a more reasonable ratio. However, we're not likely to get reinforcements anytime soon, and we also know that the British are building three more dreadnoughts. What does that mean for us? I, I don't, I honestly don't know. If those are built quickly, then we're in real trouble. But otherwise, we, we just don't make the same mistake we made. <laughs> just put it the, we essentially put the difficulty um, up a little for ourselves. Now, it does say that their ships are estimated to be built in 1934 and 1935. That means there's some hope for me. I'm going to have at least a whole year to try to whittle away at their ship count before the three new classes come in, and I'm not exactly ecstatic about facing this Tiger class. It seems pretty brutal. 48,000 tons? Yeah. That's compared to my 42,000 Deutschland class. Well, anyway, uh, we also have to wait about uh, a year and a half, 1934 time, to get our Deutschland classes in. In fact, I want to build some more um, Dresden classes because we are losing a few light cruisers here and there, and our Dresden class are pretty... I, I, I really think they're a good ship. So let's build two more. Let's accelerate these as well just to get two more months off of it. It doesn't cost too much to accelerate the cheap ships, and we'll even build one more Deutschland class. Again, not sure it'll ever get constructed, but we'll accelerate this one. I think it drops three months, so that's good. We'll take it. And that's still over two years away, so we'll definitely be... This is a 1935 arrival, but we saw that it, the for the... Two dreadnoughts, two of the dreadnoughts Great Britain are, are building are estimated in 1935, so it has someone arrive at about the same time. Okay, I just want to check. It's not really necessary or even wise for me to build a new Bonderton class, but how. Oh, the build time for this is 28 months, so it is slightly faster. Yeah, okay, let's, let's get it then. And we will. Nope, it's not. So. We can just scrap that immediately, or do we just build one for fun? I guess we build one for fun. Okay, very good. Um, we can kind of bolster our destroyer fleet, which is getting um, quickly decimated. With all the remaining funds we have, it probably will go negative by about a million. It's fine. Get three more of these. In fact, we probably should just start building into the future. Nah, yeah, one more. Let's get one more. Okay, good. I think our monthly balance will start increasing before the funds drop in about 18 turns to, uh, to the negative zone. Okay, good. So let's go. We've actually invaded um, one of the British possessions. That's great. Hmm. I... Wow, this is interesting. Well, since the war ends as soon as this... I mean, since the series ends as soon as this war ends... I think we'll continue for total victory. Two, three, five. Uh, another fleet battle. So this is the problem that we don't have any ships really available. We will decline this one. I don't even know how they're able to field eight dreadnoughts, but that's a very scary prospect. Now, I actually could accept because look how low their fleet count is getting in terms of escort ships three light cruisers and seven destroyers. If I accept, this is a great gamble. If I accept, they probably decline. Nope. 
<laughs> okay, well, we're very close. One of the things I took into consideration there, even though I didn't mention it, is that we're very close to a home port. So we can kind of steam away if we really need to. So we probably just do that right away. Or maybe we just send in a load of our old destroyers. Which ones are the... See, we have the S... Okay, we, we need to go until fleet contact, so all right. Might have got ourselves into a bit of a pickle here. Hopefully not. If we can even just sink um, one or two dreadnoughts, let's not keep our dreadnoughts like in any position to be um, engaged in a, in a serious manner. Okay, I think that's good. Okay, so continue until enemy contact. Where are they? Yeah, dead in front of us. And they have the wind. It is dead calm, so we don't have to worry about that. That's very good. All right, so what do we have here? We have a Dresden class. I'd prefer to keep the Dresden classes alive. And we have the Danzig class. Where? Oh, so this must be a Dresden attached to the Magdeburg, and this Duke Guard must be attached to... What? The Dresden? Okay, let's just see what we have here. The Stuttgart is a Danzig class, yet it is attached to some of the um, Dresden classes. Oh, that's a little confusing. And the Dresden is with the Emden, which is also a Dresden class. Okay, so the, it looks like the only... Wait, there's one ship here I'm not seeing. No, that's all of them. Magdeburg, Kohlberg, Stuttgart. Yeah, and then Emden and Dresden are together. Okay. So all the ships except for the Stuttgart are our new, our Dresden class. That means we're going to try to keep those a little bit safe. Oh, we even have two here. Are these both Stetton, Danzig class, and Danzig class? Okay, so these are the ones who are going to be sent out to scout, and even to their death if we, you know, we don't have any desire to keep them alive, basically. S13 class, more S13s, I like that. Okay, this is as the best class. Let's get these guys to go um, full speed. Actually, let's go three under um, max speed and head towards our dreadnoughts. This looks like it's also as the best class. Yeah, because I see the the best herself class namesake is there. So same thing. Oh, interesting. So this one must have a non the best class in it. Yeah, it has one S thirteen. Ah, that's kind of weird. Are all of them like that? No, this one's all the best. S13, S13, whoops. S13, S13, S13. I think we've got all of our non-S13 and non the best classes sunk. <laughs> oh, the Dan's the class. And what is this? Hamburg class, which is extremely old, so these guys are going right into the meat grinder. Victory points are not as important for me right now as just sinking any dreadnought. Of course, sinking one of the dreadnoughts is probably enough to put me way on top. Okay, the V2. This is the joining the Munchen and the Nuremberg in uh, suicide. We don't really care about those. The V2 is extremely old class. So... These guys were S13. Let's um, have them go maybe 27, but not completely move towards the dreadnoughts. I'm trying to pair these things off in a manner which I understand. Uh, this is all stuff that I would normally do off camera, and you probably prefer it that way, but I didn't expect to fight a battle. I thought we'd wait quite a while um, for our battleships to heal, and we didn't end up doing that, so. So we'll keep this guy a little bit close, but we'll push him forward. I'm going to probably... Ugh. Yeah. I don't know what to do here. Squad max for sure. Squad max for sure. And uh, hopefully that'll give these boys some time to enter the fray. Alright, well. Um, by the way, is the... Which one is older between the Danzig, which has five, and the Munchen, which has one, two, three, four, five, six, six. It might be actually a newer version. I don't remember, but uh, they're not the Dresden class. That's all that really matters. So they will eat. They will be sunk um, with equal uh, 
not caringness. <laughs> There's a better word for that, but. All right, so let's see what we have here. Imagine that's the main fleet. We want the Dresden out of here pronto. So let's just do this immediately. Let's get the Magdeburg to just immediately go support, line ahead. I'm just going to move the Dresden backwards even. And hopefully all this will make sense as we start to get the ships where they should be going. Okay, 12 heavy guns of Dresden, good god, that's bad, Dresden, why don't you pop smoke. This is okay, the Emden's actually laying smoke for us as well. Conditions are not great visibility, so probably this is a good time for our destroyers to get involved. I'm going to set flotilla attack. Who are you escorting? Good. And I think, who's the one who I want to attack first? You're one of them, but this is the main one, okay. So let's uh, let you go and then, well. Good, so they actually stopped firing at us. They're turning west, which is good. I mean, that keeps the wind direction. If we ever get some wind, it's out of the northeast, supposedly, so we'll have to watch for that. Just trying to get the Dresden out of there. I think it's good enough. Probably high time for us to stop with the smoke screen. It's, we're in good enough shape now. I just wish I had identified them. They are doing a good job identifying me. Okay, so what do we have here? Yes, the Munchen, and these guys are going to take their place. These guys as well. These guys should be going squad max, essentially. Slow these guys down a little bit more and start turning them in. They're the second group to go into uh, torpedo launching mode. Alright, let's see if this works. Let's see if we can get these guys to make a torpedo run. And you, what are you doing? Okay, you're trying to form up, I think. So this is the best. We'll, we'll send one of these guys on the east side of our dreadnoughts, who are still moving slow. Let's get them up to 20. And, uh, yeah. I think that's good, and then have these guys move a little bit. They're going to eventually move to the west side of the... We're going to just form a nice protected perimeter around our dreadnoughts. While that all goes on, we're going to be sending a lot, Hopefully sending our destroyers in. Eh, it doesn't look like they're complying, does it? So we lost sight of all these guys, which may mean that this is a, a quick nothing journey. Okay. Okay, these guys are forming up now. Uh, maybe slow down a little bit more. Kind of a mess here. Let's get these guys. What are you? The S13 class? Yeah. We'll keep you inside the light cruisers for the time being. Okay, yeah, it's not bad. It's a little hodgepodge right over here, but it's probably because we forgot to take the... Did we get everyone into line head? Yeah, so we forgot one. Let's change these guys to support, line ahead. I'll bring somebody in. Okay, we spotted them again. This is good. I think this is really good. We have our nice pickup line, uh, pick it line, not pickup line. We have a nice picket line of light cruisers. Slow them down a little bit. Let's get these guys to stay a little bit faster since they're in formation. The Nuremberg needs to catch up basically. And then we'll send our destroyers off to their death as soon as uh, as soon as we actually make solid contact with the enemy. And 
one of these others, yeah, these guys are the ones who will also go in eventually. And Dresden's slowing down. What are you? Is this the best class? It is. So you guys are going 21 then, perhaps. We want the Dresden to get, yeah, on the east side of our dreadnoughts. Oh, wow. So we are opening fire now. Okay, well this is, unfortunately we have a lot of ships obstructing the line, so uh, let's try to get these ships out of the way as fast as possible. I'm pretty sure that it's going to say ships are fouling the range. Yeah, minus 20. And we are technically turning, I guess, which I didn't know. Okay, you guys are moving max speed to get out of the way. I'll just send you max speed, yeah. Um, you guys should be dropping off. And we'll turn you in just to kind of complete that a little faster. I guess you do a squad max just to get out of the way a little faster. Yeah, same thing with all these guys. Um, okay, so this destroyer group, turn them towards. Just need to get, we need to clear up room for our dreadnoughts to start firing. Okay, great. The first thing that happens is our uh, <laughs> turret champs. But that's okay. Let's try to make sure we don't there's too much here. This is good, much better. Okay, Stetton's now in ahead, which is good. Okay, this is my light cruiser group, so they are gonna keep heading that way. Dresden is correctly getting to the east side, and these guys can turn back now that they're going to be behind our dreadnoughts. So let's see what happens with our firing now. Ship's falling range is still negative 20. Firing ship turning. It should be minus 20, right? Firing ship turning. Huh. Since we're on target, though, which is plus 10. It's a bit of chaos for them as well, so we'll <laughs> hopefully our fouling of the range will be less than their fouling of the range. Let's just manually move these guys this way. Um, just to prevent fouling of the range. <laughs> we launched a torpedo even. That's so cute. Like we have any chance of hitting <laughs> from this range. Okay, this can probably go back this way. A 24. Have these guys... Ugh, what's the best way of doing this? Yeah, probably turning this way. Dresden, go this way. Get everyone to start lining up. A lot of babysitting, like I said, these fleet battles are. The Danzig is launching torpedoes. Very bold of us. Hey, if we're able to just swarm them with torpedoes and even get a little bit lucky, that's completely okay with me. So we're firing at the Indomitable class. How does that ship look? I don't remember. It's pretty weak. We could get a kill on this one. It would not take much. I assume we don't have ships fouling the range now. Why is that? Is it the Danzig? Okay, well, you guys move a little bit further away, if you wouldn't mind, just so you're not, so your smokestack's not causing issues. Does the Danzig say it's spelling? Yeah, I don't know. All, they all say that? I guess so. Maybe it's their ships that are fouling the range. Okay, good. Well, we started to land some hits, so let's return our destroyers from whence they came, just because we don't. If we are winning the exchange, there's no reason to um, change anything. Just keep things the way they are. Okay, wow, very good. So our Hanover must, yep, yeah, has a turret that's jammed. Let's get you guys to go 20, just make sure you don't overtake. 
Uh, I need you to do some kind of zigzag. You're good. You're good. You're coming back. You're good. And you're coming back. You're good. We're getting some good action in here. Very good. Oh, main gun crews cut down. <laughs> By what? By splinters? Yeah. Yeah, understandably. And that means the uh, top speed is going to drop. Probably. Okay, well, what if we turn these guys to AI controlled now? Would they just go do their thing and get themselves killed? That'd be nice. The less I have to worry about them, the better. Okay, so... Something like this. Okay, a turret was disabled, unfortunately. But we're still landing some good hits. This lion class kind of stepped in. Oh, we got three hits on that one. Excellent. Unfortunately, like I said, the lion class kind of stepped in, and she's a little harder to sink. Would be a very sweet prize for us, considering she's 16-inch guns. This one, oh yeah, look at she's a uh, 13-inch guns. We already destroyed two of her turrets. Yeah. Okay, well. Now we are starting to work with the Danzig class. <laughs> Probably not going to be very successful, I would say. But two 16-inch um, shells are hitting. That's that's good. Since we're doing so well, we might as well push our luck a little bit. We we know when we when we have to disengage, we can send a whole onslaught of destroyers and light cruisers at them. So I assume oh, penetrating hit. Pretty pretty decent one too. Oh, no, mainly turret disabled, okay. Yeah, we want to pursue this one because we are doing very well. We've knocked out, like, all the turrets in this one. This is good. Okay, all right. Let's let things return to equilibrium. Equilibrium. Yeah, these guys, I don't know what they're doing. Really don't. The good news is, if they get in the way again, we can always do the same thing. Just manually control them and get them not to be in the way. Probably just go 25 with these guys. Wait, Dresden? But yeah, these are ones that will not be attacking. And you are ones that will be attacking, so yeah, move your way back over there. Oh, what the heck? We spotted a submarine. How do I react to this. <laughs> where, where is this submarine that you have spotted? Uh, is, there, is it possible for you to show me? And what is the effect of the submarine? Is it like here? I'm very confused. It is very interesting, but I don't know what to do about this. It's the first time I've ever spotted a submarine, which is both cool and terrifying at the same time. <laughs> All right, so how do we play this? I don't know. I don't know what the best thing to do here is. Okay, we're still hitting, but they're leaving range very quickly. We have to pursue, right? I'm not crazy here. I think we really have to pursue. And I think I'm just going to take these guys off of AI control and get them to be my pursuit group. And even, let's just get both of them to move. Okay, so let's move at them. We're all turning. We're turning in. Let's go, boys. We're kind of in good position to turn anyway. We already have, we had ships 
south and north of our dreadnoughts already. So now we can just kind of shift the whole formation. Um, the whole lines will just shift to the west now. And if I'm not mistaken, although their battle cruisers are pretty fast, if we've done significant damage, we might, we might even be able to catch up. I know this is risky, but um, we won't play as stupid as we did last time. Which one was the stupid one? The V2s? Yeah, you guys should go squad max. You are. Let's get the... Are you guys also... Yeah, so this is also something worth using at squad max. Let's get you guys to go do something as well. Okay, let's see how this goes. So Danzig and Stetton should just go flank speed. You are also the best. No, this is an S13 group. I think. Yep. So you can, yeah, you can power a little bit as well. This is my two Zabest classes. Those will, these will stay very close to my Dreadnought. And you guys are free to engage. Punch in Nuremberg, free to engage. Good. Okay. Let's keep going and see what happens. These guys are out like a rocket. I like it. Oh, oh, forgot to turn these guys a little bit. That's fine. They're uh, not really part of the go to group, so. Whoops. Don't turn into those guys, please. Okay. Let's just make sure we're not doing anything. It looks like we got another hit on the Lion class. So they are slow. And now we hit an Indomitable. This is perfect. We'll just chase them down. Everyone should be going at least 23 because that's where our Dreadnoughts are going. Okay, let's see what happens. Are they going to turn in and just try to engage? No. I'm surprised they haven't sent their destroyers at us. That's probably what I would do. You know, force them to react to your uh, to your destroyers. Whoops. Wrong one. This one, please. Thank you. I do have cruisers lined up to prevent any kind of damage, hopefully. In fact, let's get these guys to speed up a little bit more. They might be needed very shortly. But I just have a huge picket line of, <laughs> of scout ships. And we'll take even damaging their destroyers. It's going to prevent them from really doing um, these kind of engagements after this. Okay, good. This is this is good. This is very good. Wow, the line class is sinking. Holy cow. Okay, once we get these two ships, we definitely pull away. Okay, second battery hit. Ah, uh, it makes sense. The line class is getting a little desperate. She fired two. She's got two of them going. Let's also arc so we can get more of a broadside off. You guys are really going slow. Yeah, that would be good. Turn these guys in. No, I'll just keep them like this. It's fine. The more guns we can bring to bear at the same time, the better. So that's the idea here. Nuremberg. Very unlucky. <laughs> All the way, the, like, went through everything. Okay, well, just let's do a little bit of turning like this. How's the Nuremberg doing? Is she going to survive? I think she is. But let's get her to just immediately just go dead stopped. Okay, we're still getting some good hits off. Now, we're only able to fire right now our front superimposed turrets, it looks like. If we turn a little bit more, that will change. Let's try to do that. Okay, Nuremberg.
remember detach, it's good. Keep hitting them, this is good. And now we are getting full broadsides off, perfect. G10 is launching torpedoes, this is good, very good. That's what we want. Let's do something like this, like this. Okay, lots more hits. And we want, we really do want to finish off um, their destroyers as well. I know it seems a little silly, it's really petty in the overall course of the war. And nighttime is coming, so we gotta do it quickly. We're still in range right now, still in range. Line class says it's sinking, but it's going 15 knots. I don't know any sinking ship that's going 15 knots for this long. Doesn't seem like it's slowing down. Okay, can you see? Barely, yes. Okay, we need you to turn in a little harder then. I think we played this just about right. She's definitely going slow enough, I think. You guys are way behind, goodness. Okay, so Lion class, two more Wear class, that's good. It's gonna hopefully prevent them from launching torpedoes at us. Okay. More stuff happening. Ooh, wow, we got hit by medium guns. It's a little bit lucky, we could, that could be dangerous. Go in. There we go. Goal is the Indomitable. Still getting some good hits off. Okay, this is starting to look very good for us. I think the Lion class at this point is just um, incapable of really doing what it wants to do. Combat ineffective. Okay, we actually... Okay, Deutschland's hit by a torpedo. How are you doing, Deutschland? Very good. Torpedo protection holding up. Okay, but we don't want this to turn into a disaster, so let's um, just move, change direction. We were able to stomach that one, that's true, but we can't risk too much here. We don't even want to risk too many of our destroyers, that's why we're only really sending in the V2 class. Let's get them to target this uh, Indomitable class. Hopefully that they actually are able to launch their torpedoes at it. Oh gosh, Nuremberg got hit by what? Oh, shoot. She's, I think she her flooding's down from like 200 down to 60. I think she'll be okay. Just slow down to two. Okay, we have one hit. That's not good, but probably survivable. Oh, okay. Well, this is what's going to happen. You guys are all expendable, sorry. What I'm noticing here, if you haven't noticed it yourself, is that we are about to encounter the main British line. So we were obviously fighting just the scouting fleet, which was their light cruisers, I mean their battle cruisers. Now, if we were able to sink even one of these at the cost of nothing, that's spectacular. However, at this point, obviously, it's a little dangerous for us to stick around because they're likely going to outnumber us incredibly. And although we've taken two of their battle cruisers away, if I'm not mistaken, they have like eight dreadnoughts available. 
8 to 3, not a good number ratio, so let's get the heck out of here. Now the good news is we're just going to, let's just set these guys to AI control and let them just go buck wild. Hopefully they launch a lot of torpedoes. In fact, we'll do the same thing with these guys. AI control, just go crazy. We need these guys to um, do their best. We're actually still getting a few hits on the line off, but we need these guys to, to hard turn away. Uh, is there's a turn away maneuver, something like that? Um, I, I don't remember what, uh, there's the fleet turn away maneuver is the one I'm looking for here. <laughs> it's the appropriate time for it. So it looks like all the other ships are gonna get out just fine. The Dresden's fine. The Magdeburg was able to turn, away, turn very quickly. Our, obviously the destroyers, no problem whatsoever. But let's see what happens with uh, like the Munchen and the Danzig down here. We prefer not to lose these guys, but um, okay, the Nuremberg machinery repaired. Yeah, actually we need you to detach. I'm specifically going to detach you to send you home so that you know to go home. Yeah, just do that at your own leisure. I'm not gonna worry about you anymore. You're on your own. Good luck. Okay, we still wanna try to get a few hits off. Like what the Dresden's doing here is good. All right, so here we go. Let the carnage begin. We got three more hits on the line class off. That's probably a sunk ship. Looks like the Indomitable is gonna make it beyond lines. So, in fact, it doesn't look so bad for us. We're uh, creating a lot of smoke, and we're turning. I think we'll be okay. Please don't interfere with the dreadnought pattern. Yes, yeah, so what we'll probably end up doing is having our light cruisers cross, just because it seems like the most natural thing for that to happen. Oh boy, so a lot of stuff going on here. Let's see, three hits on the Lion, all with, nope, only one with 16 inch, two were five inch guns. We are still sinking some of their destroyers. We are losing destroyers ourselves. Now, these destroyers being there should cause these guys to turn away. So here we go. This is what we want to avoid going up against for the time being. Let's just get away from these guys. No, looks like um, the Indomitable class is going to survive. That's really unfortunate, but that's okay. I kind of don't want you guys to go away. I mean, we would like to launch torpedoes, but... So which of these did we sink? Maybe only two? Okay, well that's fine. Actually, if we can go ahead and get away with um, a lot of our ships, then we're in really good shape. Yeah, we're just pounding the Lion class. It is for sure going to sink. And we're losing some of our V2 classes, but that's okay. Yeah, let's just try to get away with everyone else. Just lose one group of destroyers. I'm okay with that. So let's go to just squad max. Pump away, whoops. Squad max, you're already going, I think. They've already turned, so I think that's already the end of the engagement. Yeah, I imagine that's it. We're launching a lot of torpedoes because of broadside opened up. That's probably gonna be a lot of torpedoes hitting the Lion class. And we're getting lucky. We're also making sure this Gala class is going down. We might even get lucky with some of these V2 classes and get them out. Uh, probably not. But hey, I'll sacrifice two destroyers for the amount of damage we're going to end up be, we're going to end up doing to them. Could get lucky with a few of these destroyers, but they're having the same idea that we're having. <laughs> Disengage. Oh, even a Rodney class here. Let's so let's see what we have. We have Rodney class, which is three quadruple 15-inch turrets. Howe class, which is an interesting configuration of 15-inch turrets. The Indomitable, we're, she's going to get away, unfortunately, but it's okay. And I think uh, we all are only going to end up sinking two of our two of their destroyers. So, our, they are only going to end up sinking two of our destroyers, I should say. Okay, let's turn off, turn together. Squad max. We might as well get out of here. I think we're going to end up just escaping some by some miracle. I'm actually going to turn off all AI control, because we might as well at this point just make a break for it. We do have a lot of torpedoes on this guy. I'm going to let those guys still do whatever they want. We do have a lot of torpedoes. Yeah, it's 
going to be a lot of... <laughs> we lost one so far. It's probably going to be it. Is this New Zealand thinking of pursuing? A similar New Zealand made a similar mistake in a previous engagement, just to let you know, Britain. Hmm. Yeah, we imagine the line class is going down now. Okay, good. Well, um, that was a pretty successful fight, I would say. We lost one destroyer for one dreadnought. And one, well, I guess one dreadnought and one destroyer. If the rest can actually get away, that's, that's just fantastic. No, actually, keep pretending to go as fast as you can. <laughs> And we'll just leave. Yes. All right, we're pretty sure the lion's dead. <laughs> Lots of torpedoes going in. Ooh, the bridge was destroyed. That doesn't sound fun. What's your uh, speed like? 17, not bad, not bad. It's decent, doable. I would say there's still a small chance of escape available. We're still hitting this old Gala class. Uh, we'd really got to learn how to not attack ships that are um, for sure going to sink. Alright, so this is probably about when things are going to start to turn into AI control anyway. The good news is actually um, the ship we're leaving behind is going to soak up a lot of hits. So you can see that Although we're already sinking, they're still engaging us. So, that's good. And here comes Extreme Knight. Oh wow, they sunk it very quick. Wish we could sink their ships that quickly. So we'll turn to AI Control, which is probably perfectly okay at this point. And we'll just uh, go 20 away and let everyone else just catch up to us. That's not ideal, but can we help people come? V3 is sinking. No, we lost two. That's a bummer. Try to catch everyone so they know where we are. Good, I think we're okay. Okay, let's move on. So, probably about a 45 minute episode here, but that's okay. Still two destroyers. I mean, it's a two to two ship trade, but um, in the end, much better for us, of course, because one of theirs happened to be a, a dreadnought. Let's see if we can make it into Emden. We'll probably get caught on this wall. Nope, looks like we made it. Yes to all. Okay, good. Everyone's headed to port. Okay, so recapping. I think we did exactly what we should have been done. We did exactly what should have been done. There it is. So we, one of our light cruisers took heavy damage. I didn't even know that. Unfortunately, their other, the Indominal got away. But. It's a victory, I mean, it's not really important, the victory points at this point. We just need to try to keep their ship count down, and we did. Another ship, just a, a quick turn away, exactly the opposite, the opposite of my decision making in the previous episode. <laughs> Much more intelligent. So I think that's going to call this episode to a close. Thanks a lot for watching, and uh, I'll see you in the next episode where hopefully we continue to rake down at the British fleet. Just briefly see. Yeah, that's one less battle cruiser, so yeah. Um, we're slowly closing the gap. All right, well, I'll see you in the next episode. Take care.